to in this question? We have a cos theta plus b sin theta cos to c. What we'll do? We will divide by root under a square plus b square. Root under a square plus b square. Then is c root under a square plus b square. What we did is that we considered a and b. And we got the hypotenuse. We took a tri triangle of a and b as perpendicular and base. And we found the hypotenuse. So a upon a square by b is what? So we will consider this as alpha. So cos alpha is what? A upon root a square plus b square. Sin alpha is what? B upon root under a square plus b square. So here we got cos alpha cos theta plus sin alpha sin theta is equals to c upon root under a square plus b square. This is cos a plus cos b, cos a minus cos b minus theta is equals to some cos inverse cos some beta angle. So cos beta is let's take c upon root under a square plus b square. So this is theta minus alpha is equals to we have 2n pi plus minus beta. So it will be cos inverse c upon root under a square plus b square. So theta 1 will be this is alpha plus 2n pi plus cos inverse c upon root under a square plus b square and theta 2 is what? 2n pi plus alpha minus cos inverse c upon root a square plus b square. So this is one theta, theta 1 is what we will consider. Now this is alpha 1, okay, some angle alpha 1. So alpha 1 and alpha are not equal. So this is alpha and this is beta, two roots. We will add alpha and beta. It will become cos alpha plus beta is equals to cos. Sum of this will. This will, this will get cancelled. It will become 4n pi plus 2 alpha 1 which is equals to cos 2 alpha 1. So cos 2 alpha 1 is what? Cos square alpha 1 minus 1. So 2 into cos square alpha. It is a square upon a square plus b square minus 1. So this is what? a square minus b square upon a square plus b square. This is the answer.